Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, I want to give a very quick tip for teachers who are using NetBeans to teach Java. What you'll find is in the classroom when your students have, for example, a main method such as this, and they click run, in addition to the output that comes from sysout, they also get some additional text, which here is run. Not so bad in this case, but let's say we do clean. Now you get a whole bunch of output that is not that interesting and potentially confusing to your students. This output is based on the fact that the project that you're developing here is based on the ant build system. And ant has certain output, which is relevant for if you are trying to understand ant or trying to work with ant. But if your students are simply trying to learn Java, this could be potentially quite confusing, including when a build is done, for example. A lot of output here that could be confusing. So what you can tell your students is to click this very small button that you see here, um, Ant Settings, which opens the output window. And if you now switch the verbosity level from normal to quiet, and you click OK, and now you right click and choose run or you click run at the top in the toolbar you will see that you simply get the output and not the end output when you do a clean you get far less you simply get the end call and the target that is called which in itself is quite interesting and you can right click and choose build and again you get very little output in the output window this can be very useful to your students to not be confused. If I now paste in here some scanner code, just out of interest, and we add here enter text, and now we run this class, you can of course use the output window as well to enter text and to display text that is entered via in this case, system in via the scanner code. So the output window in the first place doesn't need to display everything that it displays by default. You can configure it quite easily after clicking this button. And secondly, when you use scanner code and you use system in, you can actually type directly into the output window as you would do on the command prompt. That's it, a very small tip that could be useful when you are teaching Java with NetBeans.